सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम त्रिशा पाल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ऑन द टॉपिक ई आर पी सो ई आर पी रेफर्स टू अ टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यूज टू मैनेज डे टू डे बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज सच एज अकाउंटिंग प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट रिस्क मैनेजमेंट एंड कंप्लाइंस एंड सप्लाई चेन ऑपरेटर्स वंस इंफॉर्मेशन इज कंपाइल्ड इन दैट सेंट्रल डेटा बेस लीडर्स गेम क्रॉस डिपार्टमेंट विजिबिलिटी दैट एम्पावर्स दैन टू एनलाइज various scenarios discover process improvements and generate major efficiency gains that translates to cost savings and better productivity as people spend less time digging for needed data so we will just move on to the next slide to see the features of the erp so coming to the features the first one is integration so the primary and most significant benefit of erp is a central view of essential financial operation and business data that can be shared across the organization second is automation automation minimizes the time spent on manual data entry reduces errors and lets employees focus on more value added tasks the third is data analysis the power of data analysis is enabling employees to gather a wide variety of information and spin it into actionable insights coming to the fourth one reporting better reporting is almost as important to executives as more effective data usage now we see tracking and visibility so this is one more in- important feature of erp platform which allows companies to track surface and understand business matrices which is a very powerful feature the four uh, the next one the sixth one is accounting erp accounting features deliver the ability to track store analyze financial data such as accounts payable accounts receivable general ledger budgets and forecasting the seventh one is financial management financial management is a complex task that involves planning organizing determining the best use of funds for a business the eighth one is customer relationship management so this is another important feature that we see in erp system which enables companies to automate the processes like filling out pos generate accounts receivables reminders and sending notifications for an account to follow up the next one is sales and marketing ERP has been no benefit marketing and sales teams by making it easier to sell upsell generate quotes and purchase orders the next one is the 10th one which is human resources so in every company we see that there is an hr section which is responsible for doing all the tasks so ERP helps in managing the system taking care of all the employee related functions like hiring onboarding payroll etc the next one is supply chain management So this helps by tracking demand, inventory, manufacturing processes, logistics, and distribution. It also helps in setting inventory goals and simplifying the distribution resource planning. The last one, the last one is ERP manufacturing, which heightens an organization's ability to manage and automate major inventory planning and inventory decisions. Now I'll hand over for the next slide. uh the first one you can see is uh, enhanced business reporting uh this includes better reporting tools with real time excuse me trisha can you mute yourself trisha sorry to sushmita sushmita starts from beginning please trisha mute okay. yourself everybody please mute otherwise noise is coming thank you so can we start please start from your beginning okay sir Uh, so uh, now I'll uh, be, uh, elaborate on the benefits of ERP. Uh, the first one we could see is enhanced business reporting, which includes better reporting tools with uh, real-time information, and then comes better customer service, which includes better access to customer information, faster response times, uh, improved on-time delivery, and improved order accuracy. Uh, the third one we could see is improved inventory costs. which only carry as much as inventory as needed uh, and avoid common issues like too much inventory with higher overhead costs and al- and also too little inventory with longer customer fulfillment times then we could see is with the help of erp we could have boosted cash flow which involves better invoicing and better collection tools to bring cash in faster then comes cost savings uh that is improve inventory planning better procurement management and also better customer service better data and cloud security dedicated 
security resources and also avoid installing malicious softwares uh, then business then the seventh is business pro uh, process improvements and uh, the last one we could see is supply chain management which includes effective demand forecasting and lean inventory reduce uh, reduce production bottlenecks and also transparency through business now comes the disadvantages that comes with an erp software the first one being the cost of an erp software any third party software add-ins and implementation costs can be huge also maintenance costs and initial and continuous training costs are also included complex data conversion which is like developing a solid data conversion strategy can also be difficult and we have to determine uh, examine and analyze uh, several data resources also bad data conversion which all causes delays and increased costs then requires thorough training training needs to cover all of the erp system features erp training sessions need to be with business processes and it users needed to be trained for the technical aspects of any erp system now uh, the example of erp will be further elaborated by the next session. yes good morning everyone so <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So now we'll be discussing uh, an example of ERP. So as we all know, IoT is making its way into the tech industry and uh, and all other industries as such. Uh, so all the companies are moving from on-site ERP systems and are now adopting a cloud-based and a more agile ERP system that is managed and maintained by another host or a vendor. So Oracle is widely used in, uh, widely known in the tech industry and it offers cloud-based uh, ERP products to um, brands such as FedEx, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Next slide. So in conclusion, uh, we'd like to discuss how um, ERP manages and integrates business processes without which uh, each and every department would have to be a disconnected system and without uh, an ERP system, um, a company cannot plan or allocate resource that efficiently. So um, ERP helps in the free flow of communication and sharing knowledge within an organization which will uh, in fact improve productivity and efficiencies within the departments of the company and so uh, and moving uh, to an ERP system uh, might be counterproductive also if it does not uh, adjust well with the company's cultures next slide but not visible so, uh, the first MCQ is what does ERP stand for it stands for enterprise resource planning which is a type of software that organizations use for day-to-day -day business activities which is used for um, accounting, procurement, project management, risk management and compliance. Next, uh, Shomadit will be presenting. Yeah. Uh, good, uh, <coughs> good morning everyone. So, I am Shomadit. And so the second MCQ is in ERP, what does uh, BI represent? So you can see the options and the answer is business intelligence. So business intelligence uses uh, software to convert uh, reams of information into bite-sized insights to inform decision making. The software receives data from company's ERP system and other data sets via a synchronized tool or API. They are the BI tool then analyzes the data sets and represent findings in reports and dashboards. Next one, please. The technology used to manage organizations' customer relationships is known as uh, the answer is CRM, which is Customer Relationship Management. So it's a technology for managing all your company's relationships and interactions with customers and potential customers the goal is simple improve business relationships a crm system helps uh, companies stay connected to customers uh, streamline processes and improve profitability next one please 
Uh, the last concept is uh, which module in ERP system is used to manage manufacturing processes. So you can see the options and the answer is uh, MRP material requirements planning. So in material requirements planning, MRP system is planning and decision making tool used in uh, the production process which analyzes current inventory levels versus uh, production capacity and the need of manufactured goods based on forecasts. MRP schedules production as per bills of materials while minimizing inventory. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Very good presentation. Thank you.